what we're going to do now is carry on with the calculation we've just done and find either the initial or in this case the initial and final course okay now the initial or final course is often asked and you need to find one of them in order to get the position of the vertex really okay so the formula for initial and final course follows the same concept again as the formula sheet and it's just derived from the uh, cosine formula okay all they've done is transpose the cosine formula to find a or find b you can see there cos a b equals cos p b minus cos p a times cos a b divided by sine p a times sine a b or cos b cos p a minus cos p b cos a b divided by sine p a sine a b those formula again are given to you in the sqas and all your internal exams at the college so i call it little a rather than a just to try and differentiate it from the memories that we've used here okay so cos little a equals and it's cos pb minus cos pa times cos ab divided by sine pa times sine ab now a few years ago you never used to get that you always do now it's written on your formula sheet but basically the initial course in your memories is all cos on the top all sine on the bottom and it's b minus a d a d so it's cos bad divided by sine ad okay but if you start getting in the habit of learning it that way that will help you a little bit more for when you do your um, fuel burners because for reasons known only to the sqa they gave you cos a they gave you cos b they did not give you cos p so cos a equals we know our pb value 32.29 minus cos no it wasn't sorry it's was 57.31 minus it. So it's cos PB, 57 degrees, 31 minutes, minus cos PA, 40 degrees, 10 minutes, times cos AB, which we worked out was 4609.5, divided by sine, 40 degrees, 10 minutes, times sine. 46 degrees 0 9.5 minutes now you'll notice my brackets are in a different place to those on the formula sheet the reason for that is just basic maths if you remember bid mass from school brackets indices division multiplication addition subtraction for your order of mathematical functions it will do division then multiplication then addition then subtraction what we want is that minus that divided by that on the bottom if we don't put the top line and then the bottom line in it will do the top divided by the bottom first and then do the multiplication and the subtraction so it won't do it in the right order what we want is the product of the top divided by the product of the bottom so cos a when we type all that in it's just cos bad divided by sine add so when we put that in we get cos recall b minus cos recall a times cos recall d plus brackets divided by open brackets sine recall a times sine recall d plus brackets equals shift cos to the minus one answer equals and it comes out as 89 2.8 okay so cos a was 0 0.01663 which means literally was 89 degrees 0.2.8 minutes. Now that there is what we call a quadrantal value. So we have to apply it in the same way we did with Makena sailing courses and things like that as north or south and east or west. Now initial course and final course always follow the exact same rule. Initial course is always named elevated pole direction of travel. Okay always so in this case we use the north pole as the elevated pole so it will be north 
and we were heading west, so it will be west. With great circles, that value can come out up to 179 degrees, 59.9 minutes. So don't worry if it doesn't appear correct in the first instance. As well, remember, great circles. Yes, we were going from north to less north and west to more west, but our initial course is heading north and west, not south and west. Okay, doesn't matter quadrantally, great circles, you will go up to a vertex possibly before you come down. So what we do is we apply north and west to that, which means we do 360 degrees minus the answer, which gives us the A value of 270 degrees, 57.2 minutes, which obviously if your captain said that to you, you'd think he was smoking something. So the initial course is we just round it to the nearest decimal place. So if we hit that, that would be 271. And again, we do 0 0.0 degrees to show we're still working to the correct level of accuracy. Okay. So initial course is always named elevated pole. And direction of travel. And that's initial course. Final course follows the same idea. It's cos little b equals, and all it does in the formula, they swap the b for the a. Okay, so it becomes cos pa minus cos pb times cos ab divided by sine pb times sine AB. So we've just swap the PAs and the PVs over. Okay. Again, that formula is given on your formula sheet. So this time, in terms of our calculator memories, it's not quite as nice. Last time we had cos bad divided by sine ad. This time we've got cos abad divided by bad, okay. which makes no sense unless you've got a three-year-old child, but you'll get there. So then again, we populate the numbers. So cos PA was 40 degrees 10 minus cos 57 degrees 31 minutes times cos 46 degrees 09.5 minutes. And all of that is divided by sine, and then it's going to be uh, B is 57 degrees. 31 minutes times sine 46 degrees 09.5 minutes. So this time, bumper brackets, cos recall A minus cos recall B times cos recall D divided by sine recall B times sine recall D. Close brackets. So that's cos B again, which means B equals cos B equals 0 0.64457903. If you've got a different level of accuracy on your calculator, you might have a slightly different number. We do the inverse sign to get B equals 49 degrees. 51 and then it's 57 17 seconds so that's going to round up to be 52.0 minutes again with courses we're always going to work to this level of accuracy now the rule for naming your final course is not the same your initial course was elevated pole direction of travel your final course is opposite elevated pole and in the direction of travel. So we're still heading west in this case, but now it's going to be south and west because we use the North Pole in our 
calculation at the start. It's all based around that. It never changes, as I said. Once you pick your pole, you stick with it. Okay. So elevated pole, direction of travel. Opposite elevated pole, still in the direction of travel. So this one is south and west. Okay. Now, what that means is south and west, we do 180 degrees plus it, which gives us 229.9 degrees. Well, if we keep it in degrees and minutes first, just to show you what that would be 229 degrees, 52.0 minutes, which again isn't a sensible presentation, of course. So you would say the final course. equals 229.9 degrees true. And that there is our final course. So we work on the distance, we get the distance, we get the cos A formula from the formula sheet, we get our initial course, we get the cos B formula, we get the final course. You don't need to work out both, but the question might ask you to do so. 